Welcome to Kego Lasso. I am back as host, replacing Luis Miguel Echegaray once again this week. And I'm delighted to say that I'm joined for a second time by Fabrizio Romano, our resident transfer specialist. Fabrizio, great to have you with us again. We've already discussed uh, Jack Grealish once this week, but we're going to be chatting about the Aston Villa man again as he nears uh, his switch to Manchester City. Obviously, we're very close to the deal being completed now. How how close? Is it, you know, can you give us sort of an estimate of sort of, you know, hours or days? Because obviously we know that it was supposed to be completed by the end of the week. So, uh, you know, we must be pretty close right now. Yes, first of all, thank you again. Uh, always a pleasure to be here together. And yes, uh, we are at final stages. Uh, it's a done deal. It's a done deal between Aston Villa and Manchester City. Uh, they reached an agreement uh, last night. It was everything completed also by paperwork, Spain to view. So they are completing everything also by the official part now with Jack Grealish in Manchester to have his medical and then to sign his contract for five years as new Manchester City player. Aston Villa and Manchester City had a total agreement also on all the payments Structure. So, in how many years they're going to pay this amount will be 100 billion pounds, as we said. So, everything has been agreed between the two clubs, everything has been signed between the two clubs. Now it's time for Jack to sign his contract. But I think in the coming hours, everything will be completed. As we said, they had a deadline this week to complete the Jack Ridge deal, or Jack was prepared to sign a new deal with, with Aston Villa. It was an important contract. And trust me, they were trying to convince Jack Ridge also yesterday afternoon. On Wednesday afternoon, they were calling him again, trying to change his mind but everything was agreed at this point and that's why Jack Grealish was prepared to join Manchester City that's why Aston Villa were uh, also ready to, to try something different because they've been really smart and fast in signing new players in Sundays but as we said soon will be official and Jack Grealish will be the most paid player of English uh, football history so it's really incredible from Manchester City and Pep Guardiola really wanted this guy he was really pushing and pushing to have uh, Jack Grealish since June he was starting in this kind of process with the club, with the board to ask for Jack Grealish, and now he will have his new player, his new sign. Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned that Villa have moved quickly uh, to spend yes. the money that they're going to get in this transfer deal. Danny Ings was obviously a big surprise coming in from Southampton. Did you get the impression that there is um, any sort of agreement in place between Villa and City where City let Villa get their business done before announcing the Grealish transfer? Yes, because it is something that has been discussed between the most important people in the club when they've been talking about Jack Grealish. They start, started talking in an official way since last Thursday, so one week ago, basically. And um, they exactly were discussing about it. It was about the owners of the club also for the Jack Grealish deal. And they wanted to have an 100% uh, good relationship in this kind of situation, not going to create any war or kind of situation like Harry Kane at Tottenham. So they wanted to go with a different style for this deal. And also, allowing Aston Villa to do their business with other players in, the, in this week was key for Aston Villa and in my opinion they've been really really smart really quick as you say the links was a big surprise because we were not expecting this deal and they've been really fast with uh, with the negotiations and to, to reach an agreement also with the player with Tottenham where they were really keen from Tottenham on, on the links some weeks ago to have him as backup option for every game uh, but Aston Villa really really fast to sign the player and it was a big surprise with Leon Bailey they've been also really good because many clubs were interested not just from England from, from many countries on the Bay, but they paid 30 million pounds there is an agreement with the player and everything has been completed so congrats to Aston Villa they lose on, on Jack Grealish but they're signing interesting players and I always say remember you have also Emi Mundia who is a really really good player so I think Villa are doing good business but of course Manchester City are signing a fantastic player yeah, of course, it's uh, difficult to feel too disappointed with the summer business that we've done at Villa so far. But you also mentioned Harry Kane. Now, obviously, uh, you know, once Jack Grealish does get secured, uh, the assumption will be that City will go all out uh, to try to, to sign Harry Kane between now and the end of the transfer window. Uh, we know that the Tottenham are resisting uh, this interest uh, at this moment in time. Do you think that there's a chance that that stance could, could change? Uh, or do you think that a club like Villa signing someone like Ings, who was on Spurs' radar, is going to make it harder for City uh, to be able to bring in Kane in the same window as Grealish? No, my feeling is that Manchester City will go, from what I heard, with the same strategy they had with Grealish. So it was about waiting and waiting and waiting in June, and then in July, at the right moment, they jumped in the deal and they reached the agreement. 
So they want to go with the same with Tottenham because it's even more complicated situation for Harry Kane not showing up the training some days ago and now he's ready to come back at training. But now from Manchester City, they want to wait and see what happens between Tottenham and Harry Kane because they know that if they bid right now and if they try to create a problem between Kane and Tottenham, maybe with Daniel Levy is not the best strategy to, to do business with Tottenham and, and we know about it so that's why Manchester City are now basically waiting they made a bid one month ago more than one month ago it was 100 million pounds same bid they did to sign Jack Grealish but Manchester City from Tottenham they say no and they were not open to discuss about players because City were prepared to offer players like Laporte like Gabriel Jesus but uh, from, from Tottenham was a total no to this kind of business for, for Harry Kane now the situation could be different because the player is really pushing as we see, to leave the club, to have this Champions League opportunity with, with Manchester City. From Tottenham's side, talking with people close to Tottenham, they still say we are convinced we are going to keep the player here, change his mind, and we will start the season with Harry Kane as our star. But Manchester City are waiting, because if this position will change after Kane talk with the board and with Nuno in the coming days, they will be ready to jump the deal and to try also for Harry Kane after Jack Grealish. It's interesting that you mentioned players that Manchester City might be willing to uh, exchange for Harry Kane, uh, even though uh, Spurs are not interested in those players. Now with Grealish on board, there's obviously going to be greater competition for places. Uh, are there any names that you're looking at in the Manchester City squad or you're hearing something about players who could be moving on from Etihad Stadium this summer? I will keep an eye on, on a part of the players I mentioned. I will keep an eye on Bernardo Silva because I think it could be an opportunity for him if some club will jump and in the deal and try to sign him uh, because I will keep an eye on Atletico Madrid. We have a lot of rumors on this one, but it's true that Atletico Madrid have an interest in Bernardo Silva. Uh, it's not an advanced negotiation yet because now Atletico Madrid have to manage the situation of Saul. So once they will know where Saul will go, if Saul will leave, how much they will take from Saul deal, they will be interested in signing some new player and Bernardo Silva is one of the players they have in the list not the only one but one of the players they have in the list but the priority for Atletico Madrid is to clarify the whole situation to see if the swap deal with Griezmann will restart in the coming days or not but they are looking for Saul as priority and then to decide about Bernardo Silva so I will keep an eye on him for Manchester City as potential outgoing Fantastic. Well, I think that's uh, just about everything uh, covered. So thank you once again for, for joining me and clearing all of that up. Uh, I look forward to doing this again soon. We will, we will for sure. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here together and see you soon on Kekolaso and the CBS Sports.